Hi guys, Steph here, and today's training is all about my top three tips to run a successful launch, to kick butt in your launch. So if you don't know me, my name is Steph, and I am a coach to health coaches. I help people just like you follow the same four-step process I did to quit my job. So if you haven't joined us already, come on over to Work Smarter, Not Harder, free community group. You can access it in the description. You just have to click that link, ask to join, and I have some awesome free trainings in there including my training that I did last week on pre-launch. So stay tuned here if you are a health coach and maybe you're not ready to launch, but you want to in the future, you are eager to learn. And the pre-launch strategy is just as important, if not more important. So if you want access to that one, come on over to Work Smarter Not Harder or just comment below and I'll grab you the, uh, the link. So grab a tea. We're going to be together for about... 25, 30 minutes on this training. So get cozy and please share this with your friends if you have any business junkies that would love this information. All right, let's do this. So not too long ago, 2015, I was burnt out. I was scattered. I was working in not kidding you, 10 different health clinics as a dietitian, as a food rep, as a, I was working in a health food store, I was working in a medical clinic, a massage clinic. Needless to say, I was burnt out and scattered. Yes, I had money in the bank, but it wasn't coming from an authentic source. It was coming from each and every way, and I was not fulfilled. I was actually burnt out energetically like no other. So if you have avoided burnout so far, kudos to you comment below with your tips and your tricks because the number one thing I see with business owners is burnout so I'm here to help you go from burnout to success and if you haven't hit burnout yet amazing let's avoid it all together with my four-step process I'm gonna be sharing with you today the exact four-step process I used to turn my life around and actually have my first successful launch which for me was five thousand dollars might not seem like much but it was the spark and the fire on the um, to kickstart my journey when I went full-time in my business my nutrition business and then I actually started a coaching business as well and um, and what is really important here is I broke that cycle that I was in for seven years for seven years I was um, treating my business as a side hustle and every time things got scary I would just go back to a regular job and my business would stay just like that a side hustle and then in 2015, when I hired my first business coach, I actually told her, just so you know, I'm seeking clarity. I don't actually know if I want to run my business still because right now as it stands, it's eating up all my extra cash. It's burning me out and I'm really not fulfilled in what I'm doing. So, um, yes, I hired a business coach, but she was also an energetic healer. And she was also, her tagline was helping people find clarity and make impact. So even though I was successful financially, I really wasn't fulfilled. So um, that today's training, uh, what today's training is on is actually that launch process that I did to quit my day job for good. Um, and at that time I had a couple of them. So I quit them all um, with the help of this business coach and this four step process that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So not using a process, this led me to exhaustion, burnout, scattered energy, resentment, all in all low vibration, which is a money and customer repellent. So if you are there, if you're scattered, if you have no energy, if you're burnt out and you have no money coming in, it makes complete sense. So don't beat yourself up. Just know that you got to do something different. Albert Einstein says insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So not to worry if you're burnt out, if you're scattered, if you're wearing multiple hats. You guys might have seen my silly videos of health coaches wearing multiple hats because that was me. That was me. I know that's you. I know that's way too many people, yoga teachers, dietitians, um, anybody in the health space. We often say yes to everything, undercharge ourselves, and we wound, we wind up broken, burnt out, and not helping anyone because we're not fulfilled ourselves. So don't be ashamed if this is you. This was me not too long ago, and it's way too common because we're taught all of these skills. Yes, I went to school for dietetics, but was I taught business skills and online marketing? Nope. Yes, I did my reflexology training, my yoga training. Um, I was very skilled, but I had no idea what to do when it came to a business. And I'll tell you a quick little story. Um, about 10 years ago, um, 
I'm getting ahead of myself, eight years ago, 2010, my ex had said, I don't get it. Like, why don't you just start a business? You have all these credentials. You are amazing. Like, why don't you just start a business? And that didn't help. Um, what it did was it actually made me feel bad that I wasn't making money, even though I just spent 40 grand on school and I had all these trainings. So instead I got a job at a bar just to fulfill that need of, Oh God, I got to make money. Um, it's the sleaziest bar in town. And I, I didn't last there three months that actually fueled my fire to create income and create positions for myself. And, um, it wasn't within my own business, but I basically sold myself to a company as their corporate wellness dietitian. But needless to say, um, don't feel bad if you haven't got this business thing down because a lot of the time in the health food industry or the service industry, we're not taught online marketing. We're not taught sales. And if you were taught sales 10 years ago, it's completely different now. So the biggest thing is don't kick yourself when you're down. No, if you're burnt out, if you're scattered, it's all good. We can get you out. And I actually made my first 5k month when I was burnt out and scattered. So you got this. Imagine what you can do when you're feeling good. And I remember having a conversation with a coach um, not too long ago. She was in my mastermind group and she was burnt out and she made a sale when she was burnt out. So I said, imagine what you can do when you're feeling good. So let's get started with this training. Don't worry if you're working full time. Um, like I said, I made my first $5,000 month with my business when I was working full time. The main shift you want to do if you are still in a full time position is actually just shift your mindset. You uh, be grateful and appreciative and uh, mark it as temporary and really set a date three months, six months, a year, 90 days, my favorite, my 90 day growth plan to quit your day job. Um, set a date because if you don't, a year will pass, five years will pass and you'll be in the exact same position. So yes, it is a mindset shift and it's actually um, being grateful for your job that you might hate. Um, whatever you do, don't just quit it and try to run your business because that will suffocate your business. It doesn't work that way. Um, when we try to make money from fear or scarcity. All right, so there's a four step process that, that changed my life, that changed my business that I did for my first successful launch. And I do time and time again for my own businesses. I have two businesses as well as with my clients that I coach. So there it is. I have a full training on this four step process broken down. Um, if you want that training, comment below. I'll get it to you. Today's training is just on step four, which is launching. All right. So step four, take action and kick butt in your launch. So all too many times we might get to step three and we don't want to sell, right? We're scared to sell. We don't want to market ourselves. Um, we didn't get into health coaching, nutrition, yoga to sell ourselves, right? Well, let me share with you. Somebody's got to do it. If you're not willing to do it, you must hire out or be resourceful and um, use client testimonials, um, friends and family. So I'm going to give you some trips, tri tips and tricks to actually launch and sell without feeling creepy. Um, even if you hate sales, when my, I started working with my business coach, I told her I didn't want to be on my video. I told her I didn't want to be the face of my company. I wanted to hide behind the screen and hire someone to do it. 180 to today, I am the face of the company. And the more I show my face, the more my business grows. So if you're willing to be the face and you have a little bit of wanting to do that, then you will do great. If you truly hate it and you've given it a fair shot, then outsource it. Stay in your zone of genius. So in order to sell, you must get in front of your audience consistently, give them valuable content and make an offer over and over again until you reach your financial goals. So we're not going to sell to someone on the street that doesn't know us. We call this cold traffic. We need to warm them up. And then once they're warm, we can actually convert them to hot paying customers. And how do we do this? Well, I'm going to share with you today how we do this. So um, selling and sharing stories is an amazing way. Um, and we really want to keep you as the business over owner vibing high and in revenue generating activities. Okay. So tip, I'm going to share with you three tips. Um, the first tip is actually to have a solid pre-launch strategy. So this is everything you do before your launch. Super important, super important. So um, if you haven't seen this training video in the series, comment below, I'll grab it for you. It's also in our free group, Work Smarter Not Harder. So you can go over there and just click the video tab and you're going to run into this amazing training on what to do for pre-launch, which is as important as a launch, if not more important, because if you remember from what I just said, the cold, we have to turn cold people or people that don't know us into warm customers who already like, know, and trust us. And then we turn them into hot paying customers. So pre-launch is so important. And if you're not launching, you're in pre-launch. Okay. So 
If you're not launching, do this. You want to stop stressing about the details of what you're going to sell, your product, your program. Stop creating it all together and get into, start to teach on what you know and what you love and what fills you up and how you've helped the most people. And don't teach on everything. Nobody goes into um, a store and want everything. They go into a store and they want something specific. And likewise, they don't go in wanting an apple and you send them home with an orange, right? We want to be so specific. And in the online marketing world, this is called niching down. A love hate relationship with this, right? Um, if you haven't niched down yet and you know you have to, you're probably banging your head against the wall. You don't know what to do. Don't worry about it. You can try one niche for one launch. And if you don't like it, it doesn't jive, try another. Um, and if you're in the health coaching industry, stress or adrenal fatigue is a great niche. Go with that. Um, my niche for my health business is drop 10 pounds without counting a single calorie. So as you can tell, it's really specific. Um, so for your pre-launch strategy is instead of stressing over the details, really just get into um, identifying one specific problem in your industry that is hot. People actually need someone to solve it. And then you solve it your specific way and start teaching on it as soon as possible so that when you go to launch, your audience already knows you, likes you, trusts you, and has an idea of um, what you have to offer. Number two, build and nurture your audience. So this doesn't mean sell to your audience. This means educate and entertain them with expecting nothing in return. When you aren't doing your launch, you're just pouring love. You're communicating, you're nurturing, you're giving them value. And 90% value, 10% sell is the ratio I use. A lot of other people in the online space use 80% value, 20% sell. Both great ratios. Um, and then tip number three for your pre-launch before you even start your launch is to have a sales page up. So you have to have somewhere uh, to funnel people um, and it's gotta be specific. So again, you don't need to know your program details, but on your sales page, you gotta have a price. People wanna know how much they're gonna be paying. You gotta have a start date, uh, number of seats available, as well as an outcome. What is this customer paying for? What are they purchasing? What is the transformation? Nobody wants to buy a meal plan. They wanna buy smaller pants. <laughs> they wanna buy the result. So that's what your sales page needs to have. And if you can collect three, five testimonials, uh, one, if you have it, any testimonial is great. You can use your own if you're selling your own story. Um, and keep in mind, testimonials don't have to come from paying customers. They can come from customers that you've helped, friends, family that you've helped in the past, and maybe they haven't paid you yet. Testimonials are gold. Okay, tip number two, focused energy, clarity, and niching down. There's that word again. Um, so there's my two businesses on the screen, Nourish. You can tell just from a glance that I help people with that brand um, drop 10 pounds. So right away, it's capturing the eye of someone who wants to specifically lose 10 pounds. And then when they read a little bit more, I say, without counting a single calorie or stepping foot in the gym. So it's really talking to that person, that specific person. And then I offer them the solution. What if we could totally transform your life without deprivation or overwhelm? And then I give them something for free. What if I told you we could start today absolutely free? Ready? Let's go. And then I give them the link. Join our free weight loss group and our 14-page ebook complete with meal pattern and da-da-da-da. So that's nourished. That, so that's specific. Um, and then my coaching brand, I'm a coach to health coaches. Ready to attract your ideal client with ease? Let's grow. Um, so know exactly who you are and who you help. Um, this will turn those conversations that are maybe right now frustrating, those elevator conversations, those dinner party conversations of, oh, what do you do? From frustrating to amazing. So I remember when I was a dietitian and I really wasn't working in my zone of genius. I didn't really want to tell people what to eat ever. I knew the, the importance of stress management and meditation. And I just, they were coming for a meal pattern and I was trying to get them to meditate. So it just didn't work out. My business was failing. Um, so... I remember at dinner parties, people would say, oh, what do you do? And I would say, well, I'm a dietitian. And then they would say, oh, like, don't look at what I'm eating. Don't judge me. Or can you give me a meal pattern? What should I eat? And then it just spiraled into this crappy energy. So as soon as I switched over into telling people what I did and what I wanted to talk about, the conversation was so much juicier. And I, I will never forget the first time I, I told people or I started telling people because my nutrition business um, what I did was I basically I took it to success and I niched down and then I realized that I really wanted to help other health coaches do this because there was such a need and that was my personal story of going from burnout to success. So once 
the universe hit me over the head enough times that I was supposed to be teaching health coaches how to take care of themselves and run a successful business, I did it. So then my elevator pitch started changing because Nourish was automated. I was making money passively through nutrition products, nutrition programs. I had a team of 20 ambassadors. Yes, I took it to success. So then I started changing when someone would say, well, what do you do? Instead of saying I'm a dietitian or I'm a yoga teacher or I have an online health business, I would say, oh, I help health coaches grow their business online. And it just flowed so easy. And then I said that to a yoga teacher who she's come to be one of my best friends. And I took her through my 90 day process, completely helped her take her business online as a yoga teacher. And since then, she's, if you guys watch my channel at all, it's Joanne. We've gone to Hawaii together. We've gone to New York. We've gone to Vipassana. She's become one of my best friends. Um, And she's the first person that I started saying that to. So how powerful is that is when you actually speak the words that you want that conversation goes in the right direction so that is actually step number one is to really become confident in who you are and who you help and i know this can be frustrating and if um you know you have all these credentials you want to help everyone if you're still in that mode then try niching down for a specific amount of time three months or a launch and see how it feels you can always go back to trying to help everyone. But from my experience, you try to help everyone, you help no one. Um, So really, if you've seen online marketing, if you've listened to what I've had to say, niching down is by far the most important thing um, you can do for your business. So you solve one specific problem for one specific person. It seems counterintuitive, but it works. Okay, so focusing in your energy for 10 to 14 days, that's your launch period. So that condensed energy, every conversation you have, every live video, every piece of content, you are sharing amazing information on that specific problem that you're solving. And then you're doing a call to action or you're letting people know what you're selling or what the next step is, whether that's an opt-in, something free or a paid program. Um, And again, my my suggestion is 90% value, 10% sell. So you can do this in like Um, two different ways. When you launch, you can give a free five-day challenge, and then at the end of the challenge, you can pitch your product. Or every time you go live with an awesome video training series, you can pepper in throughout 10% of the time. Or at the very end, who you are, who you help, and, and what you're selling. So here's something key. Stay calm because most people buy at the very end. So a little tip here, you can have a registration when registration closes. So that date, people know they have to purchase by that date. Um, But know that people will purchase last minute, nine times out of 10. So stay calm, stay consistent, know that the process will work for you. And just know that that most people and let me know in the comments if you've seen this, if you've been so nervous throughout your launch, because nobody's buying and then at the end people buy. And the most important thing is to stay calm, because as soon as you get nervous, your customers feel that and they don't want to buy from you. So it's kind of a catch 22. But once you prove it to yourself once, um, or you have a coach to keep you calm and tell you that it works, it's all good. So here's an example of really simple. So I went to, I host monthly meetups in Halifax and I went there and two um, business owners came and they knew exactly what I did and who I helped. And I didn't know who they were. And it was because I was so clear online and on Facebook um, and what you can see on the screen here is I'm so clear of who I am and who I, who I help. Hey, I'm Steph. I quit my day job and celebrated my first 5K month with a simple four-step process. What if I told you I can help you do the same? I help health coaches grow their business online by leveraging multiple revenue streams and following the same four-step process I used to quit my day job. So, and then I give them a free training and all of that, because again, if someone sees that for the first time, they're not going to just purchase my stuff, but they might want to see a free training, which is going to warm them up to see if they like me, like my systems, and then potentially purchase when I have a launch going on. So that's always up and that's proof. People come to my meetup and they know who I am without even talking to me because it's so clear on my channels. And then my health business, Nourish, Um, same thing. Are you ready to drop 10 pounds without counting a single calorie or stepping foot in the gym? What if I told you we could totally transform your life without deprivation or overwhelm? What if I told you we could start today? Absolutely free. Ready? Let's go. Join our free weight loss group and grab our 14 page ebook complete with a meal pattern and recipes to drop weight without counting a single calorie. So again, my niche there is all the people who don't want to count calories. They don't want, um, specifically meal plans or, um, you know, the typical, 
nutrition plan. They, they've done that. It doesn't work. They want to drop specifically 10 pounds without counting calories. Um, so those are two examples of niches. Let's move right along here. Tip number three, you are your brand. So take care of you first. So I'm very proud to say that when I coach health coaches, my priority is making, uh, helping them take care of themselves. And as health coaches, you guys are taking care of so many people, but who's taking care of you. And if you're not taking care of you, um, hire a coach to remind you and to help you, because that's something that I do with my coaches. One of the last calls I had, um, more times I'm telling health coaches don't sell, go take a bubble bath or go to a yoga class because there's no point in selling. If you aren't feeling good, you're actually going to do bad things for your business and sales. If you show up low vibe. So a key is your current vibe attracts your tribe, not who you want to be. So, um, the, another key point here is you can't just do amazing things and feel good and expect your business to run if your systems aren't set up. So that's key too. If your systems are set up properly, your main priority is to keep your vibe high. If your systems aren't set up priority, come work with me. I've got a three hour, how to automate your business. Um, we'll get you set up and then you can vibe high, but you really want to have things set up. So this, what I mean by this is sales pages and people are need to be able to purchase stuff. Um, you have to have a sales funnel before you go in and meditate for 10 days and expect to have money or, um, do a launch and, expect to just vibe high and manifest the money. You actually have to have your system set up too. Um, so tip number three, um, in this tip that you are your brand and you got to take care of you is to have a solid morning and evening routine. So whatever we do before bed, we bask in all night subconsciously. So use this to your advantage. And, um, this can be five minute audio. This can be writing, journaling, five minute journal, but whatever you do, set yourself up for successful sleep and this successful, um, basking in all of this glory. So you celebrate your successes. You do positive affirmations. You remind yourself of how amazing you are, of how many people you've helped. You, you read testimonials. You, maybe you don't look at anything to do with work and you're just doing yoga nidra or meditation. So what you do before bed is very important definitely shut your phones off an hour before bed. Uh, if not more, it will help in the long run. Sometimes we think in a launch, we got to be online 24 seven. Nope. That's actually going to drain you. And at the end of your launch, leave you burnt out. And if you're in, um, an industry where your product is not passive and at the end of your launch, you actually have to coach people, then this is really important. Um, so then have a solid morning routine as well, because you can't just wake up and expect to have all the energy in the world, you're kind of like a power plant, you got to create it. So have a solid morning routine. Again, this doesn't have to be hours at the gym, this can be five minutes. Whatever you do, do not grab your phone first thing, grab some water with lemon or apple cider vinegar, take a breath outside, um, do some movement, meditation, writing, anything but your business. So again, my whole order of business is to help you work smarter, not harder. And a lot of this is actually just, um, I came from the health industry. So I'm all about health and you ask all the successful business owners, um, their top tips and something health related is going to be in there from meditation to nutrition to positive mindset. So we know it's important. You can't ignore it. If you do, you'll end up burnt out. Um, and especially in a launch, if your product is not passive, what I mean by passive is you're not working after you do the launch. Like that means, an e let's say you did a launch for an ebook or, something that you don't actually have to coach. Um, so if you're doing your product launch and then you're expecting yourself to be high vibe and coaching people or doing a mastermind, it's super important to not bring yourself out in your launch. So let me know in the comments, your morning and evening routines. You guys probably all know mine from my Instagram stories. <laughs> I love sharing all the amazing things I do to stay high vibe because that's my first order of business. Um, I have my system set up so I can do high vibe things and drive traffic to those sales. They're already set up. Okay. So how would you love to know 12 more kick-ass ideas in your launch? If so, come on over to our work smarter, not harder community group. Just kidding. I'm going to tell you right now on this next slide, that would just be rude, wouldn't it? So here they are. Take a screenshot. Here's some awesome tips. I give all my clients when they're panicking in launch mode, I give them this page and I say, okay, pick one or two out of here, do them. And then they come back and they're like, I did it. It worked. And then they pick another one. So, um, here's some more ideas. I'm not going to go through them. This is all in my community group in a beautiful post, um, with conversation, but you can take a screenshot 
of this and uh, let me know which ones you love, which ones you do. And um, if you are currently in a launch, come on my platforms. Uh, let's collaborate and we'll get your word out there. Okay, so all this information said, what do you do now? What can we do? So if you're not launching, you're in pre-launch mode or you're in add value to your um, audience mode or your nurture your audience, share awesome stuff. So people will listen to you if you're A, entertaining or B, educating. If you can do both, fantastic. Here are some amazing ways you can get in front of people. Start to think and experiment with these. You don't have to do them all. I personally love Facebook Live and Instagram Live if you know me and follow my channels. Um, if you prefer in-person events and workshops, great, do it. Nobody's telling you what's right or wrong. We're all going to vibe differently. I personally grew my business with live video and I love Instagram and Instagram stories. That's where people are hanging out. But if you don't love it, then try something else and um, don't just jump to the conclusion that you hate live video because it's hard. You got to give it a fair try. Um, when I first started working with my business coach, um, she's an intuitive coach too. She said, I think video is going to be what grows your business. And I laughed at her. I said, there's no way I'm doing video. I'm blogging. I'm really good at writing. I'm not doing video. Fast forward. When I do launches, this is the main mode of me getting in front of people. And if you want help getting in front of people on live, come on over to work smarter, not harder. I've got a free go live for five challenge. I help you go live on your channels. You can even come on mine. We're going to um, share amazing content. I'm going to help you go live for the first time because I know it can be hard. And if you want a free call with me to start working on your business ASAP, so I'm going to do an audit of your channels, your websites, your social media. If you don't have a website, no worries. Um, I'll give you some tips to get started right away with growing your audience. So you can book into my calendar link um, with, in the link below on Facebook, Instagram, everything's in my bio. Okay, so if you are a health coach and you're ready to grow, stay on the line because I'm going to share with you the exact um, four-step process and what I'm launching right now, which is my 90-day growth plan. I've got two seats left. Annalise is joining us. She's an um, amazing energy worker. Breath, she does breath work. I can't wait to learn about her business and to share with all of you guys what she does. So I, I offer three seats every um, quarter. Annalise has one of them, so I've got two more seats. If you want to um, quit your day job by September 2018. Um, and this is your escape, escape plan. So June, July, August, um, that's when we're going to work together over the summer and what to expect, expect a sense of peace and clarity moving forward in your business. I know personally, that was my biggest roadblock. I was so unclear as a health coach, as a nutritionist, as a dietitian, as a, I had my reflexology training, I had my yoga training. I had so much to offer. I didn't know what to offer. And then my business stunk. So um, expect a, peace, a sense of peace and clarity moving forward in your business. So finances aside, the money we're going to make aside, that peace of mind and clarity is huge. Because if you're stressed out as a business owner, what's the point, right? What's the point, especially as a health coach, if you are burnt out and scattered, what's the point of having a business if you aren't even healthy and you feel uh, like poop? Okay, so also expect complete confidence and a plan of action to make your desired income. So this is step three. When we walk through the process, we declare, we actually work backwards and we declare how much you would love as your freedom number, not your bills, but your freedom number. This includes your yoga membership, your green juices, your supplements, everything. Um, and we work backwards to how you're going to make that through um, creating a signature offer, something that you love to do. We're not going to just sell things that you hate, but we're actually going to make a signature offer for your program. Also a passive offer. So something that can be sold passively. And, um, my expertise is actually helping with multiple revenue streams. So we get to pick exactly where you want to focus your energy. And that's the key is, um, really niching down and focusing in for a specific launch within the 90 days. So if you're planning a retreat, if you have a dream of having a signature offer so that you don't have to match clients with specific products, but you have what you offer and your clients are on a wait list. Your clients are coming to you. You're effortlessly attracting your ideal client. That's what we do. So you can also um, expect increased confidence in online marketing, sales, including social media, sales pages, automations, and leverage systems. Um, okay. And then also, of course, the feeling of being fully supported while creating a business and a life that you love. That's my specialty. I did it for myself. And now my passion is to help other health coaches 
create a life and a business that they absolutely love that's actually paying the bills and um, it's their full-time job rather than just a side hustle that's uh, eating up all your extra cash. (laughs) So what you get in the 90-day growth plan, you get a welcome workbook upon purchase to get crystal clear on how to create a business that you love. You get six hours of coaching with moi. You can choose from phone or video, and I'm actually going to give you the recording. So it's a gift that keeps keeps on giving. And the amount of stuff that you learn from hearing your own voice is amazing. Um, And the amount of things you'll hear if you listen to it for the second or third time. So that's yours for life, the recordings. And um, it's an hour every two weeks is what most coaches do, but some love to do half an hour every week for the 90 day. Um, But it's six hours in total. You get the four-step system and action plan that I use to quit my day job and that I use with all of my health coaches, um, which is delivered with worksheets, exclusive content, and then you get unlimited email access to me. So I've checked in with coaches that have done my program and they've said one of the most things they've loved is that support 24-7. So it doesn't mean I'm going to be responding to you at 2 a.m. It means you can get out what you need to whenever, and then I'm on my phone. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. responding and supporting you. And if you have a post that you're unclear of, it's, um, I've got your back. And that is huge when quitting your job or taking your business full time to have someone who's exactly where you want to be telling you that, yes, this works. Yes, you are doing the right things. Keep on going. Um, so that, as well as a supportive community where you can actually leverage multiple platforms. So this little bonus, since I have been in the health industry for many, many years, I've developed an amazing community of wellness junkies that love to hear from people just like you. So that's a bonus of working with me. You actually get to leverage and sell on my existing platforms that have wellness junkies ready for your stuff. Um, so that's a bonus. Uh, if you haven't joined us already, it's called Get Nourished Community Group. You can find us um, on Facebook. You also get a sneak peek into all of the health programs I've created. So I was in content creation mode within my health business for probably seven years, created way too many things, wasted way too many t- too much time. I don't regret it because everything I learned, I can now teach you guys. Everything from fitness uh, programs to weight loss programs to adrenal programs to cleanses, <laughs> I have it all lifestyle pro overhauls, you get to look at it and pull from it what you want and create your own stuff, Um, recipe books. So that's also a perk of working with me is I share that all with you. It's nothing. um, I'm really not attached to anything. My main effort is help you helping you succeed. And if you using my already created recipes helps you succeed. Awesome. Okay, so what some past students are saying Um, Nicole from Eat Well Halifax, Uh, Nicole's a dietitian, and she says, Stephanie came into my life at an incredible time. I had lots of ideas as well as a lot of open-ended options and unfinished projects. She helped me remove the aspects of my business and life that weren't working and focus on my strengths. Her knowledge and understanding led me through learning curves, and she continues to answer pretty well every question I have related to marketing and growing my business. I made the right decision for me and my business to invest in her services. Thank you, Nicole. Julia Hudson, another dietitian, business owner, and health coach. The coaching experience with Steph has exceeded my expectations. It has allowed me to approach launching my own business as something fun and life-changing. Steph's support and encouragement to get outside my comfort zone has driven me to make many inspiring changes. And there's more to come. Joanne says... Stephanie made the scary world of social media marketing easy to understand through a step-by-step process that works. She knows how to engage people and gave me very practical advice based on her success with her own online company. She made it easy and fun. So that's just a few of um, the amazing coaches I've worked with. Stay tuned on my channels because I'm actually going to be interviewing more um, coaches that I've worked with in the past so you can hear their stories and see if this program is perfect for you. So how much, Steph? It's $549 a month or $1,500 up front. So when you pay up front, you save um, $297 because little trick here, when you go onto my site, you can grab a 10% off code. Um, so you can grab 10% off that full payment plus you're saving because you're paying all at once. So it's $1,500 um, minus $297. So you're paying, I can't do the math in my head. What is that? $1,200 bucks basically um, for the full 90 days. When I hired my first business coach, I put it on a credit card. So it's totally 
worth it. Um, I know I did that. I know my clients have done that. And then the expectation is to make that back plus your desired income. So I was able to quit my day job and celebrate my first 5k month just 90 days after I hired my business coach. So, um, again, I put in my hundred percent effort. I expect you to do the same. I'm not promising you anything financially. Um, but the system works. It's worked for me. It's worked for my clients. So if you follow the system, if you put in the work key piece here, if you're eager to grow, this will work for you. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've got two more seats. Um, I'll put the link below. If you want that clarity call to see if this program is best for your business, just comment below. Let me know and join us in work smarter, not harder, share your business, um, niche and share your business pages so we can support you. And if you are eager to go live for five, come on over to work smarter, not harder. Links are always linked up in and around the video on Facebook and they're in my bio link on Instagram. I'll see you on the next training. And if I haven't met you already, I'm Steph and I help health coaches grow online. And if you're brave enough, quit your day job.